Hey, it's Ron. I'm uh, checking in from Park City, Utah, in particular the Stein Erickson, which as you can probably guess is not the kind of place I find myself at often. I do sometimes go to resorts in connection with my work. Uh, it's, it's not really my lifestyle, and I'm this place in particular, you know, I'm not a skier, right? But everyone knows I'm not a skier, right? But it's so gorgeous here. And you could definitely see how somebody who had not infinite resources, but resources that asymptotically approached infinite at this particular point on the x-axis that we could perceive would seem very much like infinite. Someone with a lot of money to spend, you could see if they were going to have multiple locations, multiple resort homes, they would want to have one in this gorgeous, gorgeous environment. <laughs> See here. Um, in any event, I wanted to share a thought about uh, the death of Elizabeth I, who pretty much had all the money in the world and had all the... Um, beautiful resort style homes you could possibly imagine. It's fascinating to me how there is this reservoir of seriousness and tradition left in the United Kingdom. Um, and it, I'm fascinated to, you know, to see how it's going to unwind, how it's going to play out, how Charles is going to be received as king as essentially meaningless as that is, or is it? Symbolism counts for a lot. For some people, it counts for everything. Are we able to realize, to allow ourselves to realize what we need, what we want from the past, even if it's only symbolic? Symbolic is the beginning of meaningness, of, me of meaning. Those thoughts from Park City, Utah.